you're a hero. The world's just waiting for you to show up. Over the years, as we grew the HAA, and all of our wonderful members became part of this galvanized patient community, we were able to establish lines of communications. And we've always had a wonderful line of communication uh, amongst patients, uh, between patients. Obviously, we have summits like this uh, every, every two years. We have other events. We have newsletters. So we have actually created this incredible community that communicates with each other. It feels like a family. You know, you come together at these conferences and everyone gives hugs and just, it's like you pick up from where you left off. And it's really created this community that uh, I never knew was out there. You know, you feel so alone for so long and to have this community that all know what you've been through and have that in common, it's just really comforting. Patients coming together at events gives the patients an opportunity to network and connect with each other and it also creates awareness within our community so that everyone knows who we are and it gives someone with the someone undiagnosed with HAE an opportunity to learn about the disease. HAEA is really impressive. So I think they're fantastic from an advocacy perspective, from an awareness perspective, from an education perspective. I feel like everybody that's part of the association, whether they're staff or just all the members, they're just extended family you haven't met yet. And I think the amount of support that you get from them is awesome, whether it be on their website, whether it be the, na uh, the Neighborhood 5Ks, the summits, um, Facebook groups, you know, I, just reaching out to people. I think the, the support that they offer is, um, is very much needed and I think it helps people, as I said before, feel safe in knowing that this is manageable. It does not have to be. Um, life altering. You know, you might not be able to do some of the some things all the time, but you shouldn't let it stop you. So we have many programs that we offer for different stages of where patients are at life. Um, patients are going to get a, a huge menu of, of services that we offer in order to choose a la carte, how are you going to utilize the HAEA? So for example, the webinars that we host uh, quarterly, sometimes monthly, we promote them all over social media. It's typically thematic, so depending on where we are at in the year, for example, we'll have a youth webinar on going back to school or going away to college. What kinds of things can you expect? What should you be prepared for? What should you have in your toolkit to make sure that you're pre-planning, you're not letting yourself get sick, you're um, you're telling your advisor, you're keeping your university um, educated on what HAE is so that they can assist you and help you and provide the support that you need. So the HAA really, the HAA really is here to provide programs for, for all of our patients, um, no matter where they are in life. There has never been a time where a strong patient advocacy organization with a motivated membership has ever been more important. And if you're struggling, whether it be with your doctor or any health care or insurance, there's people on staff that can help and guide you in the right direction. So don't go at it alone because there's no need to. There probably isn't anyone in the audience today that thinks we're done with moving forward with other therapies, better therapies, therapies that are more easy to administer and therapies that are even more effective than what we're seeing right now. Well, that's gonna take the continued participation and continued motivation of the people who are sitting in this room today and the greater community for HAE. Every little step's important, right? Every little step matters. So that's, I think, I think we're headed in the right direction for the future.